I'm Tanya. I'm Derek. And this is Betty White, our van. Come on in and take a look. So this is our small kitchenette. And we do have a flip up table right here. So when we move the, the front seat out of the way, that'll flip up. And that's where we do our cooking. And how we do our cooking is right in here, we have a one burner stove and a little um, propane tank. Also, it stores the all kinds of stuff down there. And our 20 gallon, this is a 12 gallon gray water, but we have a 20 gallon fresh water tank underneath the bed. And then up here, we have all kinds of spices and because I like to cook. So there's always lots of spices in here. More cups, silverware storage, and then all the pots and pans because they're it's a small area and we don't have a lot of room. They're stored under here, under the bed with a big bin. So all the pots and pans and plates are underneath there. And we have a very small refrigerator. And the reason why it's so small is it has to slide under the bed so that it makes room for the wheelchair because the wheelchair takes up quite a bit of space. So at night we slide the refrigerator under the bed and then it makes a lot of space for him to be able to get in and out of bed. This van was partially built out already and it had the bed really high. It had, um, the sink was out in the doorway. So this all had to be revamped to make room for, to be wheelchair accessible. So we did have to go to an RV place and it was Bakersfield RV and they redid um, the bed. They re moved the sink over here. They redid the plumbing, electric. They did a great job at making this wheelchair accessible. Not a lot of vans have full bathrooms, but we do. So we have a porta potty. We have a portable shower. Um, it's not plumbed for a shower, but what we do is we have a portable shower underneath the sink that we can take either in here or we can, he can take a shower in the wheelchair behind the van with a shower curtain. So um, we, can, we store it right here and it's pretty nifty. It um, has a, sh a shower head and you can take it wherever you want basically. You can spray off the van, you can spray off the dogs, whatever. So that's handy. And um, it's also a closet as you see clothes in here because it's a small space so we hang stuff up and even put a vacuum in here and stuff. But it has a medicine cabinet and lots of storage. got into van life was um, in 2019 I was a registered nurse worked tons of hours constantly I ended up getting um, some neurological issues and I had to become medically retired so when that happened in 2019 then the pandemic hit in 2020 and we were just sick of staring at walls and you know being homebound so we started researching van life and he wasn't into it at first <laughs> He thought we couldn't do it. He thought it couldn't be done, but here we are. That's the story. Uh, we got married a few years ago. I was already retired, injured in, in, a, in a chair. Uh, when she got hurt, she started looking at van life stuff and different travel methods online. And she loved it. She loved the van life issue. We got to talk to online to a few people and she was convinced we could do it. I was convinced we could not. Here we are. We did it. Yeah, we, we really did. I, I, can't, I can't express enough how it kind of just clicked in that, our head that when we saw guys at the VA who, who were desperate to get out, who would give you know five more minutes to go camping, to get that fresh air, to, to feel sun, the sun on their face. We, so we started um, our YouTube channel to inspire other people yeah. to get out and at least get out and get the fresh air and the sunshine. We started Van Life Voyages with that, just to get people out. To, to If we can give you a, a spark, uh, a, fr a fragment of an inspiration, a little bit of a boot to the rump to get, get folks out, 
to, to go do it. Give you hope, man. That's that's why it's here. That's why we that's why we do this. Not to mention the benefits we get from the sun on our face and the wind in our hair. And we sure don't see that many people in wheelchairs doing it. So, no. Yeah, so we're hoping to be their inspiration. This is our bedroom. It is a full-size bed, and this is as big as we could fit for two people in here with the bathroom, but it works for us. We also have storage, upper storage, which is really handy because we do have the Blue Eddy, which is dedicated to my CPAP machine and phones, and it runs off of a solar 200 watt solar panel. And then there's lots, there's other storage up here. We have this because there's always, we always need to stuff things somewhere. And so this is like our catch all. And then up here we use we do use the netting and inside the pillowcases is storage more storage for odds and ends towels other blankets uh, miscellaneous shoes and then up here is our moon shade and so it attaches to the outside of van to give us shade if we want to put it up so we use every square inch of this thing we also have the max air fan which is a must yeah, we have a window vent that pulls the air through in the front that we go in the um, both sides of the windows, which helps a lot as well. And we, I put a map up there just to make a kind of a different headboard, give it a little bit more um, style than just a gray. <laughs> Under the bed, we have storage for pots and pans. We have a whole pullout thing in the back that stores our hoses, our um, connectors, because the um, the van does have 30 amp connector. It does have water um, hoses to, that you can hook up at RV parks. Uh, so all that kind of stuff, tools and everything are underneath the bed, along with the solar um, hookups and all that. Plus the battery storage is under here, 200 amp hour of batteries under here, 200 amp hours of batteries. And um, we have a 20 gallon freshwater tank and it's all underneath the bed. So we had to do, we did like a trifold mattress, which helped a lot because it's hard for us to get in and out of that compartment. So when we got the trifold mattress, we can fold it up and put it on the end here and have access to that area. So that, that was really helpful. So there is, there is, even though we had to lower the bed, so we limited storage for most people, would have a lot more storage under the bed, but because the wheelchair has to be much lower for him to be able to transfer, it's resting on the wheel wells. And so our storage is more limited, but it's surprising how much you can still get under that bed. Because it is a limited space and the bed is low, we have to use the doors also for storage. And on both doors, we have these, they're actually barbecue hooks that hang on the side of barbecues. We put them onto the door to make a, hooks for our, Close storage and we each get a duffel bag and inside our packing cubes you know one for pants shirts everything is in packing cubes and we can only bring what fits in the, each of our duffel bags so if you want more clothes you got to take something out and get rid of it to get to make room because that's all the storage we have for clothing We've gotten so, so far into it, we literally created a uh, charitable foundation called the Just Roll With It Mobility Foundation so that we can help. We're gonna try and do every grant. grants uh, twice or three times a year to get people who can't afford it or don't have the means Maybe equipment. They, yeah, maybe they don't qualify for the VA. <clears throat> you know, insurance pays for one chair every five years or something like that. They we'd can't really a lift on their vehicles. Yeah, so we'd really like to that. start getting specific pieces of equipment out to help people get out and go do it, go live some life, man. I think we took for granted how spoiled we are. <laughs> yes, and. You um, know? And then how your how, how your health can just change. Something can change, so you need to enjoy your life. Because I didn't think I was going to have to retire early and um, not be able to, you know, 
do my career for the rest of my life. Right. Yeah, so something, you can have an accident, you can have your health change, something. We take everything for granted, I think, here in this country, really. It's a step up. It is, it's a little, it's an increase in difficulty. But uh, it's worth it. But it's well worth it. It's well worth it. And there, you gotta say, we're can't, we, we get out here and there's so many people that will, are so helpful. You don't have that, you get stuck at home. I mean, there's yeah. not, you don't get the people coming running to help you, like out here. Everybody is super helpful. Like yeah. if you get stuck or something, they're right there, right there to help. So when we got the van, we obviously had to have some adaptations put up on it. Uh, it was just a basic cargo van that was with a little bit of build out. For the wheelchair, I specifically needed the wheelchair lift. I needed the uh, six-way power seat and the hand controls because I don't use my legs at all. And the VA was great about helping us get all the equipment we needed. It's hard to explain, man. When you go down there to the VA, you feel like you feel like you're in your own little world and you see guys that are just, they're hungry for, to get out. They'd like to be able to go do something. And we, um, it, it breaks your heart. And if we can show a little bit of, of hope, if we can give someone a little bit of inspiration to go out and get some fresh air, to go, in the words of Sammy Hagar, smell, feel the wind, smell the earth and the air. Uh, get out there and, and get some dirt on your hands, man. Nature is the best medicine you're ever going to find. And it's, it's just relaxing and it's purifying. So, point being, there are things that we've put on, on the chair or on the van for the chair that... Um, that worked very well for our situation. The lift is an under vehicle lift by Braun. It's, and it has left all of the equipment outside of the living space inside the van. That really frees up a lot of room. Um, I know Tanya has talked about the bed being lowered because when you're, when you're old and out of shape like me, you need all the you need all the help transferring in the bed you can get. It's a, it's a pretty simple setup that delivers a lot of benefit. And then sometimes a fellow just needs a little bit of time to himself. That's why we brought the mobile man cave. If you notice, there's a commode on one side. I got a table on the other side. It's a twofold benefit. One, it, it, it gives the guy in the wheelchair a little extra room to uh, take care of business out in the, when you're boondocking. But primarily, when my wife goes in the van by herself, she doesn't need all the equipment. Me, I, I gotta have more equipment, I need more stuff, just to make, you know, make it through a day. But it, it really works out great, man. The, the ramp is pretty steep, but it, with my wife's help, we make it work. Thanks for watching our tour. If you want to see more of us, um, we do have the YouTube channel, Instagram, Facebook, all under Van Life Voyages. And if you want to check out the Charitable Foundation, the Just Roll With It Mobility Foundation, we greatly appreciate it. Please We've been it. really happy-go-lucky with our content, and I think we're gonna we're gonna dial back a little bit and go to a more sincere and look what you can do type of approach with, with the disability equipment and getting people out there. I think, I think that's just the path that Van Life Voyages will be taking. So stay tuned, man. <laughs>